Hello YouTube and welcome to a brand new series we're going to be playing through on Mondays since we finished the fin finished the novelist. But this is a game called Valley. It is developed by Blue Isle Studios. It's around 20 US dollars normally on Steam and it was released like in 2016, August of 2016 I think. So it's a little bit old, just a couple years and it looked very interesting to me. It was reminiscent to um this is only getting louder. There you go. It was reminiscent to a story about my- That is so loud. Let's try that. Okay, I turned the volume down a little bit because it looked like it was peaking my recording software. Anyways, this game was- it looked reminiscent of a story about my uncle. I played it a couple years ago on the channel. I loved it. It was an exploration game where you had these physics and you had a suit, an exoskeleton kind of suit that allowed you to jump and fly through the air. And this game has something like that in it, also with a little twist of apparently being able to manipulate life and death. So we're gonna check that out. But it looked like an interesting game. I wanted to play through it and it was on sale, so I nabbed it up. So we are gonna play through Valley. It's about three and a half hours long, but before I get totally into this let's play, that's the, before I get totally into this, um, you might be noticing that I'm not using my camera still. I am using the webcam, which is very unfortunate because it makes me look like I am dying. Um, but uh, the video that I recorded for last week never ended up going up for technical difficulties like it always does. Um, explaining what happens. So the camera, as you guys know, I've been gone for a month or so because we went on a uh, trip back home and then we went to a Vegas with some friends uh, right after that. So there was a lot of traveling. It was exhausting and expensive and I needed some time off. So I took a little bit of extra time. While we were gone, I have a big framed poster of the, a map of Middle Earth from Lord of the Rings. Um, and my camera was charging on the table underneath it while we were gone and for some horrible horrific reason while we were on our trip home the poster fell down it landed on top of my camera it smashed the charger to bits I'm not sure how it happened it was very bizarre the outlet was like broken it sucked everything sucked about it and the lens on my camera is fucked. Um, it really can't record anymore. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to take it in to get it fixed or I'm gonna have to find a new camera. But it's holiday season. We don't really have the expenses for that right now. So I'm going back to my old webcam, which is a little bit less higher quality. You're gonna see a lot more of me. Um, and I can't control the lighting at all. So we are just gonna have to deal with this um, for now, for what it's worth. I am, I am sorry about that. Hopefully I can fix things. Um, a little bit later, after holidays are over and things start to settle, settle and everything like that. Can you tell this is my first session? My voice is going everywhere and my words aren't coming out, but we're gonna get right back into this. Um, there are a bunch of new series I have coming out that I'm really excited about and uh, other things that I'll touch on in other videos. It's not important right now, but we're gonna play through Valley. And I think that's it. Make sure you check out those websites that I showed you a preview of. It just shows you a little taste of what the developer's website looks like and the Valley website looks like. So make sure you check them out, guys. Give the devs some love. And we're going to hop right into this. Okay. Slot A. I need to turn down the master volume for this game because it is something else. And I can. Awesome. Okay. It looks a lot better at that volume. So I'm going to leave it there. Um, all right, and we're just gonna hop right into the game. Choose a gender. I am a female. The life seed is said to contain an incredible earth-shattering power. While mostly written off as a myth, some archaeologists are still determined to track down the elusive item, luring some to incredibly remote locations. Okay, okay. Why would you want an earth-shattering power? Wouldn't you be a little concerned that it's branded with the ability to literally shatter the vessel that we live on? Is that not a concern? I'm concerned. At this juncture, I am concerned. Hey, looks like I missed you. I just wanted to wish you luck before you headed out. I still can't believe you're doing this. I mean, hunting down the... What was it? The life seed. life seed. Yes. Gotta admit, that sounds crazy. Mm -hmm. I mean, even if this mythological thing that can shatter worlds or whatever... Our world, exists, specifically. What are the chances of you tracking down this ancient relic in the middle of the Rocky Mountains? Listen, I'd... I know you want to prove the thing I don't exists. know. I get that. It's an adventure. Hell, it's your career, but can't you do something normal like the rest of us and just backpack Europe or something? Spend a month in Thailand? But hey, 
If by some miracle you find this thing and become the most famous archaeologist of all time, beers are on me. I'll even trade in your tinfoil hat for a whip and fedora. I just really hope all those canoeing lessons pay off. Okay. I guess the canoeing lessons didn't pay off. I think I might have capsized my canoe. Remote region, Canadian Rockies. Useless discount canoeing lessons. That's what I just said. Okay. Whoa, the turn speed is pretty fast. Okay. Ah, nuts. All of my gear. All of my stuff. Oh no! I can't look down any further than that. Hello! I cannot jump? Okay. Well, here I am in the Canadian Rockies. Gorgeous and scenic as always. Uh, ruins? Cave drawings? Where the hell am I? That reminds me of The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. Oh my god, now that was a good one too. Oh yes, cave drawings. Ah, appears to be some kind of horned creature which usually points to Satan? They are really hard. I'm going backwards, but nobody is going to point that out. Uh, because you all love me, okay? Hold shift to run. Interesting that you'd let me know that I can run. What will I be running from? Dare I ask. Ha! Nope. Nothing. Are we gonna get spooky up in here? Let me tell you, I've played plenty of spooky cave games in my day. At least two. Oh, we're just gonna run to make it faster? Meow. Okay. Feels like I'm in a fishbowl. Can you guys see that effect on the lens that I'm looking through? It looks like I'm in a fishbowl. When I turn, it seems to follow the curve a little bit too much. Little bit disorienting, honestly. Wowie zowie. This is made on Unity. Um, of course, because it looks goddamn gorgeous. But this is made in the Unity engine. It looks really, really nice. Really beautiful. Oh, wow. Would you look at that? All this grass is fleshed out. Everything looks good. It looks great. Valley. I'm in a valley. I've always wanted to be in a valley. I lived in mountains, but never a va Never a, a valley. Are those, what do you call, lightning bugs? Never seen one in real life. Not, not convinced they actually exist, but... Hello. Oh. Oh. Look at that. I can make them light up. Wow. Pretty. Okay. Do we not want to commentate on the the glowing balls of light that I'm walking by? No? This is just a day in the life of an archaeologist? Alright. Maybe I went into the wrong field with my law situation. Alright, bye, math magic tree. The hell are these things? Whoa! Bags? Urns? Wait. What's going on over here? This all looks pretty bad. I should probably not be here. I feel like this is a ruse. What are these things? Hello? Oh, I killed one. Am I not supposed to step on them? Hi. Oh. What is going on? Okay. I'm gonna... Alright. What? Well, they're very cute, whatever they are. 
No, what is this place? You gonna question the little ghosts? How hard did I hit my head? You're not gonna question the tiny ghosts running around. All right. No, we're just gonna keep on wondering where we are, not the ghosts. I keep looking down, because I have the shattered memories of my camera. All right, anything that could happen that's bad luck would happen to me, will happen, does happen to me. What are the odds that that would occur? The tack was fine, the frame was fine. It looks like someone just picked up the frame and then yeeted it on top of my camera. An old army truck. Must have crashed here ages ago. Oh, open the crate. Ah. Press E to pick up a leaf suit. Looks like a mechanical suit. Are you sure? You sure we want to do that? It's milit. All right, picked it up. Oh, do I get a tutorial on my new piece of clothing? What just happened? Okay. And don't forget to keep an ear out for new upgrades available for your suit as our scientists continue looking for new ways Are you walking away from the mic? Good luck and safe journey as you test the limits of this amazing new technology. I like how it's completely normal shit. Run fast, jump high, manipulate life and death. Like what what the Fuck, let's see what's on these old audio re reels. Virginia King, Audio Journal, June 4th, 1941. Shortly after the outbreak of war in Europe, yeah. I was enlisted by the army to study the history oh. of this valley. The mysterious oh. forest sprites seem to be the last living remnants of the long lost culture that once lived here. Whoa. A large number of them seem to inhabit the northeast sector of the valley. Uh -huh. Just past the ruins where the life seed, rumored to possess an earth shattering power, was found. That's as good a place as any to study them. Life seed actually exists. Oh, I have quests! Access tunnel. Access tunnel A. Broken. Hello, map. What do you have for me? Okay. Northeast dig site. Alright. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is cool. Oh my god. Oh! Am I dead? No, I'm fine. Archaeological excavation site. Yes, I would like to go in here. No? Run down slopes to gain momentum to jump higher and further. Okay. Shift, run, and jump. Woo <laughs> oh, shit. This would be so cool in VR. Oh my god, I am fast. I'm fast. I'm so fast. I'm fast like a cheetah. Where are we going? This way? Woohoo! Oh my god. I am so cool. I am a Spartan. And woo! Oh shit, I'm gonna hit a tree. Ah! Ooh! Just kidding. Oh my god. Forget the quest, I'm going on jumps! Oh god, can I swim? Ooh! Oh fucking, that scared me. Okay, here we go. Just gonna continue my journey. This game is dark as hell, too. Hello? Alright. Run. Okay, we're still running. 
energy stored within the leaf suit, known as Amrita, can be given to once living things. Shoot life energy towards dead trees or animals? Okay, what the fuck are you talking about? What? What in the hell? Why do I have the abilities to do that? Dear dead? Nuh uh. Come on back, my friend. How do you feel? Well, little did you know, you just broke everything. Wait, Pathfinder? Leave suits must be worn. Okay, I have one, so we're okay. Can I take life away? Can I suck its energy out? Bam. Energy low. Oops. Did I go this way? Right into the water? Probably can't swim. Probably can't. Oh, I see. You want me to hardcore parkour my way up there? Oops. Alright, alright. Don't you worry, little deer. I will use this power for good. And also to take over the world and win the war in Europe. Touch an orb to absorb its energy. Oh, okay. Okay. Can't can't bother with orbs, I'm too fast. Woo! Oh, I didn't even jump that time. I just had too much momentum, the earth could not hold me down. Oh my god. Oop. Alright. I am a very floaty person. Whoop. Search for the life seed. Okay, I'll do it at superhuman speed. Hayut. Can I swim? I can. Okay, life can also be taken from living things rich in energy, such as a tree or animal, to re replenish your suit. Less robust life forms such as blades of grass provide no value. God, I just killed it. And then I bring it back. Then I kill it again. Oh my god, I am too powerful. Why in the hell would we need anything else? You can just point at a soldier and kill him. Why do you need a life seed if you had this technology in 1941? I mean... Okay, I guess. For the love of science, I suppose. Restricted area. Unauthorized access within this area constitutes a breach of security. Well, I'm going in anyways. Huh. Oops, I used my powers. Find a way through the ancient ruins. Oh no, what's wrong? Oh, the tree's dead. Can I just... Seems like these fireflies react to energy. Not like that? Okay. Okay, so they want energy. Alright, thank you for opening the way. Mm-hmm. Sussurus. These are all excellent questions, but I realize that the music is a little loud. I'm wondering, can you hear the voice very well? I'm just gonna have to tinker because the audio doesn't seem to be balanced very well on its own. Um, oh, here you go, fireflies. Are you happy now? Oh yeah. I'm the bringer of the- <coughs> The good times, not the end times. Hi. Alright. Um, sharpshooter, boom. Again, with the goat-horned creature, I don't really think we should be fucking around with the... This place. It seems like we shouldn't be here. Okay, there's a tree branch. No, that's just moss. Okay. Alright, E to open crates. Okay. Are these crates? Those are rocks. Ah. 
Oh, no from a Pathfinder. I could watch these sprites all day. I can't believe how friendly they are. Brave enough to come right up to us. I guess they have no reason to fear us. We aren't natural predators to them, after all. Okay. Oh, energy upgrades. Capacitor upgrades. Find four to complete a canister. Okay. So I need four of those. Get another energy canister to kill more bunnies and things. And there I go, I have four. Just like that. Alright. Okay, <laughs> okay, don't you be putting in some weird figures around. I'm just gonna get get spookled. Uh what is that? A tree? I'm hating these little bags. So I'm opening that door. Okay, but what's over here? Hut. Luckily for me, oh. the military is helping to explore all these ruins through the soldiers piloting leaf suits. They call uh -huh. these soldiers pathfinders. They can trek through terrain normally inaccessible to someone like me. Every guy back home is gonna want to go joyriding in a leaf suit. But until the military's project comes to a close, we're cut off from any contact outside the valley. I guess the world will have to wait just a bit longer to get their hands on these rides. Well, apparently a lot longer, because 2018 I don't have one of these. Acorn. Collect enough acorns to gain access through certain ancient doorways. Medallion. These medallions are said to be used to access an ancient pyramid. Collect enough pieces to gain entry to its chambers. Oh my. Should I try to get over there? I feel like if I get into the water, I will actually die. I feel like this is too heavy for me to swim with, but I'm gonna yeet myself anyways. Hello. Any secrets over here? No? Well, I will go on back. As easy as just literally thinking about jumping. Uh, 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 but if you overshoot it, that's kind of it. There's no, there's no adjusting to these jumps. Jesus, this is a gorgeous game. Are we looking for the devil right now? It's a gorgeously dark game. Use falling momentum to break through cracked surfaces. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Uh, well, hang on. There seem to be secrets, eh? No? Yep, don't know why I did that. You mean down there? I don't want to do that yet. Hang on. There's a box that I gotta get to. This is a completionist run through the dark. Acorn, acorn, medallion, acorn. There I go, collect collecting acorns. Like they're the rarest thing on the planet. Okay, let's go. Oh god. Oh my lord. Oh man. Up. Oh. Okay. Soldiers piloting leaf suits leap effortlessly through air functionality are known as pathfinders. Their ability to ma manipulate life with running speeds up to 110 kmh makes them a deadly addition to the battlefield. Were they a deadly addition or did it stop here? Quest updated. Continue searching for the life seed. Alright, can I get a life flashlight real quick or... We fresh out of those? This looks like a cracked surface, right? Can I fall? Maybe I can fall through this. I'm gonna explore. Don't know, dude. They're absolutely beautiful. They seem to grow randomly throughout the valley. I know nothing about them other than that they are indigenous to this valley and that the army is using their energy for their war project. Uh huh. About as much as they'll tell me. <sighs> Such a shame. I wish they would just let them be. But, I suppose, it's the whole reason we're here to begin with. Is that the reason we're here? Alright. One. Acorn, acorn. Awesome. Really don't think I can get into the water. I really don't want to test it, too. So I don't know how this game saves. Um, okay. wonder where the webcam's gonna go. <laughs> Bottom right? I don't, I don't actually know. Hup, here I go. Beep 
Well, this is quite gorgeous. Sussurus Valley. Sussurus. Okay. Well, these little creatures aren't attacking me, so I'm guessing they didn't really mind the military inhabiting their lifestyle, right? That's what that usually means. Hi, little guys. Alright. Okay, I think that is a good little icebreaker into our playthrough of Valley, though. I'm gonna end this episode here, guys. Let me know what you think of this video in the comments down below. If you liked it, then leave me a like, and if you liked me, then subscribe today for some more content in the future. We are gonna be playing this game all the way through to the end on Mondays. And that is it. So far, I'm interested. We gotta see... We gotta do more. We gotta see what's going on. We'll get the full story. I have glue on my arm for some reason, but I am pretty excited to play through this because it did look so uh, good in the Steam preview. But check out those links that I have in the description to the websites I showed you at the beginning of this video. If you guys have a chance, support devs because with that we wouldn't have games. And that is all for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching. We are coming right back in uh, to doing YouTube consistently. Oh, I should have put this at the beginning of the video. But I'll let you guys know here for any of you that are interested in any of you that use twitch.tv for live streaming or to watch live streamers, I am starting to stream again. I used to stream um, only. Before I did YouTube, I was a seven day a week streamer. And I'm getting back into it now. So I stream three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday, starting at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you're interested in seeing me live, talking to me, hanging out, go to Twitch. It's the same channel name, The Cool Jalapeno. You can't miss it. And I'm live there three days a week. So hope to see you guys there. If not, I hope to see you guys here in the next video. And that's it from me today. I'm going to end this before I keep on going. But have a fantastic day. And don't run out there wherever you are, ladies and gentlemen. And please stay safe. Much love to your faces. I will see you guys in the next